I thought it was only one upload today. Nah, hold on, bro. My boy D Generosity dropped not only almost 24 hours ago, bro. And it's called Tippy Culture. So we gotta check it out. D Generosity, you knew what it was, my boy. We're gonna check you out, man. I love you guys. Make sure you guys like subscribe. You guys didn't know already. I show my kick. If you guys wanna walk, come watch me stream right after this video, please do so by following the channel. Without further ado, D Generosity, you up to bat. Bye. Shout out to Lay Bat for real. Let's get into it. Tipping. A generous act of courtesy you do when you're more than satisfied with the service you were provided. And you give them a little extra money. Usually right? you give these to your servers at restaurants, your barber, and strippers, just as a way of telling them you're doing a good job. Go yeah. get yourself a nice pair of undies. And this yeah. overall thing is practiced all around the world. You know, it's not exactly a foreign concept so, for anybody. So the crazy part about, you know, when I was, um, because I was out yesterday, right? Can you, wait, can they hear me? Okay. I always make sure, I always make sure, like, the crazy part about, like, when I was out yesterday, uh, I was out with my mom yesterday, you feel me, and um, we went to a, a good dinner steak, we went to get a, a nice little steak dinner, um, you know, and I, I was tipping somebody, right, and I didn't know that the uh, grad, some starts with a G, some in, in there, and I didn't know I was supposed to look at that and tip them, I would normally, like, leave, like, a dollar bill or something, but... I learned it. I learned something new about tipping literally yesterday. So for him to drop this video the same day where I learned something new about tipping, bro, it's kind of crazy, bro. Because shout out to my mom, man. I, I learned something new, man. So um, he might be able to teach me something here too. So we're gonna we're gonna see what he's talking about. Uh, tipping is a normal thing, but no place on earth lets it give out the tip more than the US of A. We go X Games mode with the tipping over here cause we be giving everybody tips. We tip our delivery drivers, taxis, bellhops, housekeeping, house movers, bartenders. If you're- You wonder why I don't tip my Uber drivers no more? Like not Uber, well, my Uber Eats. Because I don't know why, for some odd reason, every time I do tip them, they don't ever break everything. Like, they don't break none of my food. Like, I mean, they break my food, but there's always, like, one or two things missing from my food that I pay for. So I be looking at them like, bro, what the heck? Do y'all not, like, do they not, like, fully check the bags before they give it out? You feel me? So I be having to write complaints, and I don't like complaining, bro, but, like, at the end of the day, Uber Eats be cost, like, $50 just to get food. So when I do order it, I expect my food to be in there. You feel me? So it's like... I don't know, bro. Like, I, I that's why I've slowly stopped like ordering Uber Eats. I'll order if I'm really, really, really hungry. But if I'm not that hungry, I'm, I'm not gonna do it, bro. Or in-person service, then most likely you accept tips. Even my homie's last job at the gas station, where he just pumped people's gas, he got over a hundred dollars in tips in one day. I didn't even know people tip for that. We love to tip everybody except the homeless. But has it gone too far? Let me go off real quick. But I've been seeing tipping options where I've never seen them before. Like counter services, you know, cashiers. I've never heard of tipping cashiers, but those blue blocks on the iPad beg to differ. One time I went to a concert <laughs> and I went to the merch booth. I got a hoodie, bro handed me the hoodie, then turned around his iPad for a tip. Now I know these people don't get paid too well, but what in that interaction concurred a tip? tip Did he slip exactly. me a hundred dollar bill in a hoodie that I didn't see? I don't think so. So I, nah, I don't think I'm gonna tip. But I would use usually see these in local businesses most of the time so that's all fine and dandy yeah but i've heard starbucks is also doing tips now i don't really go to starbucks because it's just not for me i like nah, my coffee I mean, a certain way i never try starbucks a day in my life and still probably won't because i feel like motherfucker i just go walk in my kitchen just go ahead and turn on the coffee maker i don't know what's the what's the hype about it maybe somebody can put me on to a, a a coffee flavor maybe i'll try it if it's actually good if you like if there's a majority vote or the coffee flavor in the comment section i will make a tiktok go in there or make an instagram video go into that place and i will actually order that coffee so if you guys have a uh coffee flavor if you guys are a starbucks fan you guys want to put me on to something majority rules bro i would try that typical um coffee let me know i like my coffee how i like my men Long, black, and Vietnamese. And no offense to the <laughs> Starbucks employees out there, but I'm gonna treat y'all like McDonald's and Burger King. Like, why would I tip the drive through cashier? That just sounds unnecessary. And as long as those restaurants are not asking for tips, then I'm never gonna tip. Don't get no ideas, please. However, I understand why these workers would want a tip, though. They work low-wage jobs, and sometimes they got families to take care of at home. So a tip or two would make their lives a little bit easier. 
Yeah. But I'm selfish. I'm not trying to do that, <laughs> Wendy's, bro. But I know that day will eventually come. I can smell it. This is the U.S. We'll somehow incorporate tipping into everything. So the employers yeah. can justify why they're paying their employees minimum wage. And whenever someone doesn't tip, they get mad at us instead of the business that's giving them a non-living wage. That's, that's why saying. tipping is super pushed. So restaurants, for example, can pay their... I'm not going to lie. I'll look a person in the eye and they'll be like, uh, you know, you know, they'll put on like the little tip thing. And I just look at them and I just like... I don't know, the way I see it is like, I mean, I don't mind helping out, but if it's like, if it, if I feel like it's sports, bro, I'm not going to do it. Like, 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 I do it out of genuine kindness, you feel me? I do everything I do out of genuine kindness. If I feel like tipping is like feeling forced by somebody, like, if I'm at a restaurant, I tip regardless, you feel me? Because, I mean, you're walking around, you're doing your thing, you're going from table to table. It's a lot, you feel me? And, you know, waitresses and um, 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 our servers don't. And bus and you know a buster don't make that much. I used to be a bus boy. Um, you feel me? Wipe tables and grab dishes. You know all that stuff. So I understand. But like the thing is, I, I the reason why I'm saying that because the only reason why I'm saying what I'm saying, by the way, is because I had this type of experience. So I mean, when I look at somebody, they're like very pushy on tips, bro. I'm like, okay, buddy, just get a better job or something. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I mean, you know. The harder you work, the more you should get paid. You feel me? That's how I feel. That's why I go for, a, you know, a better paying job that's going to, you know, pay me good. Even if I'm working very hard, at least I know I'm going to get paid, you know, enough so I can, you know, be able to pay my bills and pay this and pay that. You know what I'm saying? I don't ever expect anything from anybody. That's how you, everybody's supposed to see it. Everybody's supposed to not expect nothing from people. But if you, because if you don't expect nothing, you don't get nothing, then you're just going to sit there angry 24-7. So don't expect nothing from people. It just work your ass off and just keep doing your thing. Make multiple incomes and just get rich or something. You feel me? I'm not rich yet, I'm, but I'm working my way up there. You feel me? So... Yeah. Waiters low salaries to encourage them to aim for tips. So the waiters had to be as upstanding, top of their tippy toes, holly jolly. And I hate that too. I don't like that like the waiters has to, or the, the, um, what's it called? The, the, the servers has to like, like fake their energy. I don't like fake energy because I, because I can see through it. I see right through fake energy. So it, it, it sucks, but I, I hope like whoever, if you're a waitress, if you're a server, um, you, you feel me? I, I, I just hope that you don't have to stay at that job too long because it teaches you to be fake and, and it's, it is nasty. I don't like it. Of a worker as possible to try to get ends meet. So the customer can walk away feeling happy about their experience, the owner of the restaurant being happy because of the profit and good look of the business, right. while the waiters walk away with a $2 tip and food stamps for a salad. Or at least that's just my theory. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Let me go grab some. Had to get my uh, what the heck was that? Huh. I had to get my watermelon because I haven't eaten, and you know I'm on a great healthy diet. I think I, I, I I'm lying. I just had steak yesterday, but let's do it. Let's get back to it. My game theory. Now people that have never had a job might say, ain't that a good thing? It makes the waiters actually try to do their job well, bro. Ain't nobody want to work minimum wage, period, bro, in yeah. this economy? Doesn't matter if I'm getting tips. All it takes is one bad day of penny pinching tips to be like, well, Scoob, I guess we have to eat whatever's in the fridge tonight. I should know. I used to be a waiter. I was a waiter for weddings and other events in my late senior year, and my wage was decent, 15 an hour, and for a high school student, that's pretty good. Plus, I only worked on the weekends. Man, this job was gonna be a breeze. But that was only because I was a kid. I ain't need that much in the first place. All I thought is, if I can afford food, so, but to spoil the fun, most of the time, I did not get any tips or very little tips. And 95% of my gigs was at weddings, so the food was already paid for. I was giving these niggas free food, and I got nothing. And I was always all nice and shit. I was never mean. I was all like, hello, hot diggity day. What would you lovely people like to have? I thought I was doing a good job. I even shaved off my hair to be more presentable, which is something I still regret to this day. Don't cut the hair you love for no jobs. 
Unless it look like this. You, you might get no job with that. <laughs> I did get tips sometimes. The biggest tip I've ever gotten was $40 from a table of old white woman and a gay dude. And from then on, they became my target audience. I'd always <laughs> pick the table with the gay niggas. Because I know they'd give me the biggest tip. And me complaining about small tips might sound like a trivial problem. But I'm talking about like in the grand scheme of things of this kind of job. Like if I was an adult with this job paying bills taxes, rent, all that, I, I could not live like this. I noticed because I had co-workers in their late 20s, 30s, 40s who said they couldn't take care of themselves with this wage. That's why they sold drugs on the side. That's why we should hold these businesses accountable to have higher wages for their employees so they don't have to rely on tips anymore. We must rise against this corrupt business practice. Who's with me? Let me say, let me say it like this. If they raise our pay, they raise everything else. They raise our pay, they raise, it's going to, if the inflation is going to go crazier, again, they keep raising the fucking food anyways, but everything's just going to keep going up. Regardless. Pay tips no more. Well, duh. I don't like tipping. Who does? Who wants to pay more of their own money when they don't have to? I'm not a misogynist, a masochist. <laughs> Wrong word. I, I am the other one. I'm not saying I don't tip. I do. But mainly because I want to at least try to balance out my good deeds with my bad ones when I'm in the pearly gates. I'm not trying to go to hell because I didn't tip my IHOP waitress who so happened to be battling cancer and diabetes that one time. I'm trying to get to heaven. But if I gave zero <laughs> darns, dangs, or f***s, I would almost never tip. I would look at the bill, then pay the bill, then end it there. I would only tip if I received <laughs> outstanding service. Because, you know, most services nowadays are just average, you know, regular stuff. Nothing to point out. Yo. But you still supposed to tip. In a perfect world, I would only tip if the person is enthusiastically nice. Fast service, give me a back massage, and also pay for my food. Then I would tip. I can understand tipping delivery drivers because they also need the money to pay for their gas. But that can go with the higher wage argument that I said earlier. And if they show up mad late, then I don't have to tip them. We should bring back the 30 minutes or less or the food is free rule. I'd start ordering food from Russia on purpose. Save myself a stack. And like I said earlier, I know these people need these tips to survive. I know they have mouths to feed. I know. I feel you. I feel you. But in the back of my mind, I know I have mouths to feed too. My own mouth. And tipping is slowly taking that away from me. Now I'm gonna starve. And remember earlier when I said tipping is not a foreign concept? Well, apparently it is to most countries. Every time I look in the comment section for a post regarding tipping, 90% of the comments will be from foreigners saying, well, over here in Timbuktu, Jumanji land, we never even heard of tipping. I didn't even know Jumanji was a real place, but it sounds like heaven if they don't tip. And it makes me think the people of the U.S. here are purposely fucking me with this tipping shit. It's to be expected we tip 20 to 25% of the bill here. You, you have a better chance pulling a gun on me and robbing me because that's the only way you're going to get that much money out of me. And I've been seeing news reports about how there's a spread of self-checkout machines with tipping options. Who the hell am I tipping? <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Walmart themselves? Why they need my money? Why they need a tip? Any self-checkout tipping machine out there could suck the tip of my people. That's what you could do. And like I said earlier, I do tip my delivery drivers and waiters. No. I do. But I hate tipping. My bloody hate it. If I could abolish it, I would. I hate it. <laughs> However, I know it's the right thing to do. Or at least I was raised to believe if I don't tip my waiters, I'm a dick. Which I don't really believe now, but I begrudgingly admit tipping won't kill me. So I still tip. How much I tip? None of your beeswax. And even though I tip most of the time, I'm not gonna tell y'all you should tip. You could do whatever you want with the money you've earned. Like right. I could be spending my money on helping the children in Africa and building houses there. But how else am I supposed to pay for my drip? I need money for my clothes, man. Those kids in Africa, they're not gonna pay for me. But yeah, those are my thoughts on tipping. Employees need better pay so I can stop paying. And in conclusion, <laughs> element of surprise. Did you pray today? Did you pray today? Cause if you did it, I'ma have to you down on some gas shit. Oh my god.
Oh my god, bro, Degenerati, you done did it again, bro. Once again, guys, if you guys did not know, I have a kick down below. If you guys want to go follow that and you guys want to come watch me stream and play games, etc., make sure you guys go follow that down below, guys. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys for watching. Double upload today has been completed. I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, excuse me, stay reckless.